So today we're going to do an unboxing and a general overview of the Anchor Series 5 mobile charger. Stay tuned. Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Whether you're a first time wastelander or you're a current vault dweller, your presence here is appreciated either way. So today we're going to look at this new mobile charger that I just got from the Anchor brand. It's called the Series 5. So let's start unboxing it, open her up, and let's see what we've got inside. So we have a warranty and warning booklet. The unit itself, cool compact little design there. A male to male USB C cable. And the quick start guide. Now, I apologize earlier, I did say mobile charger. This is a power bank. It's just a lot larger than probably what you see for a uh, mobile, smaller backpack, glove compartment kind of chargers. So it's a nice little compact design. It's, it is a cube, as you can see. There's emergency locator glow strip there. I assume that's like a uh, reflective tape of sorts. The interface looks fairly simple. An SOS mode button looks like the backlight there. That it would be your solar input um, connection right there. It has two USB-C connections right there. Looks like one is purely out, one says in and out. And then two USB-A connectors right here. Both of these do say out. So let's go ahead and turn on the display. And again, this has just come straight out of the box. So we're going to see what it's at. All right. You can see that there. It says it's at 26% straight out of the box. Oh, there's the night light. Lantern, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty bright there. Fully extends. High mode. Then back to display. Close this and let's see what it's running real quick. So with the light on low, looks like it is outputting two watts. Therefore, it'll run for 24 hours and 19 minutes. Or 28 hours and 3 minutes. This is just need to configure for a second. Then turn it on high, bumps it up to about 3 watts. Guess we need to let it sit for a second to calculate how much it's going to use. Okay, it looks like we're going to be at 12 hours and 9 minutes if you had the lantern on high. That's pretty cool. So let's turn that off. Let's see what SOS mode does. Handy. All right. So according to the get, uh, the get Started Guide, so again, you have a solar input here to charge this with, I believe it said, a 60-watt panel is the, um, is the most that you should be plugging into here. And also, via this USB-C port here that's labeled in, you could charge it with a wall brick, which is what we're going to do. And we'll set a timer to the side, and let's see how long it takes to get from 26% to 100. Let's go and check on that. All right, so I will not be using the cable that came with the unit itself, but it is a USB-C connection. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And there it goes. There's a little lightning bolt above there. So we're now charging. Looks like it's inputting 16 watts. So recharge. Looks like it'll take about 10 hours according to this, but if the tablet will stay on long enough, we will keep checking back in and out here, see if it really does take almost nine hours of charges. But we'll see. So we'll start the clock and we'll keep you updated. Are you a Nuka Volt dweller yet? If not, Pluto implores that you do become one. You can do that by hitting the subscribe button below. Give us a thumbs up and send us any commentary you'd like. It helps out the channel a lot, guys. Appreciate it. Back to the video.
So as you can see, we're at about an hour and 20 minutes and we've charged up to about 36%. So it really does seem like it's going to take quite a while to get to 100%. Again, this is just a mobile, uh, a mobile charging bank. So I know some of them that I've used in the past do take a while to charge up. But it is rated at 60,000 milliamps hours or 60 amp hours. And this is more so for the purpose of recharging your phone, tablet, or even a laptop. According to the stats, on about an iPhone 14, you could recharge it from dead to fully charged about seven times, and a laptop approximately three times over, which again isn't bad for a mobile power bank. Well, guys, there you have it the Anchor Series 5 mobile charging bank. Uh, I haven't put it through any rigorous testing, but we'll definitely be doing that here in the future. It seems like it's quite the answer for a in the trunk, emergency power outages, or maybe even on a camp. Uh, I'm looking forward to probably putting on a small personal fan on it just to see what kind of um, kind of pull we could put on it and to see if we can keep the comforts going on. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, always be getting ready. We'll see you around.